Yep, there you go. Here, hold on to this. Hold on to the seat. While I have some of your fine apple cider, Lewisburg, 100% apple cider, not from Concentrate, but it is pasteurized. Whatever. Got to wet my whistle. So you want to know about that poem. And since you are, <laughs> by default, by whatever, you are my official archivist. You are you what archivist for my writings. You know, it's a new poem. You have, to, you have my, all my old poems. This is a new poem that I wrote. I forget when I was it. Mm. Apple cider, it's the season. When did I write this poem? Let me see. Because, you know, I still write by longhand first. Uh, so this is like the first first things here when I, you know, I cross out and this stuff. And this was written, oh, 25th of October this year. That's when this was written. For some strange I have taken a liking to this poem. You know, you write, I write a lot of stuff, but a lot of times I don't take a liking to it. So you have some questions. And let me let me read the poem. If you have questions, just ask. If you don't have any questions, well, you have questions. Okay, so first of all, let me read the poem first, and then we'll see what happens, right? It's called A Gracian Statement, A Challenge. It's just what it looks like. So you laid out, because you, as you know, I'm more of a wordsmith than I am a poet. I like to see words on page. A Gracian statement, a challenge, known for what you are, foe to friendship, is what you have always been. Discarding of humanities, of the too many guardians crushed up on your waves, just to tool your kit of everlasting conquests, even as they submit in prey, you conquer in prey. The thee of day has this day uncursed you, foe to friendship. Permission is yours. You can now cease voyaging vessels for ghosts. And that one little mistake when I, when I was reading this, that was the third paragraph. As you see, these things are like, it's like a, basically four, three, four lines, three lines, four lines, three lines, four lines. Questions. The one I had when I said, um, on the third stanza, it says, just to tool your kit of everlasting conquest, even as they submit in prey, you are conquered in prey. Um, pray. Just as, even as they submit in prey, you are conquered in prey. And the prey, the first, as, even as they submit in prey, meaning uh, P-R-A-Y, spell P-R-A-Y, you are conquered in prey, P-R-E-Y. And the pray, the, the, their, their pray is a capital P, this, this pray is a small P. Questions, and I'll give you, well, I should say, the meaning of, not the meaning, but the, this poem was inspired by a friend of mine, Grayson Challenger. His name is Grayson Challenger. Uh, and uh, Grace, that's his name, Grayson Challenger. So when I start off by a, a Grayson statement, uh, and, and a challenge is just to take off on his last name, but a Grayson statement, what he said, what inspired this poem is his last, very last line. In other words, it's like a gracious statement, and the last line is what his statement is: "Vessels for ghosts." So, in a, in a, well, that's what it is. So, this deep between his his statement, I I put the poem between his statement. His statement was "Vessels for ghosts." So I put the so it's like a yeah. I I opened up this what this is what his statement meant to me. Let's put it that way. So that's how that's how the poem is structured, uh, and it's one of my old kind of things when I put. And you say, well, this say, for instance, you something like that. Uh, I was at Eugene Rebin's uh, writers uh, uh, club the other day here in St. Louis, uh, and like this one line, you said, well, it's not a line. It's just the word voyaging. But for me, that voyaging is like the middle passage. So it's like it's actually a longer thing than what it is. You know what I mean? For me, it means middle passage, and middle passage means like huge. It's, it's like it is a long line, even though it's one word. So, JB, questions? Come on, give me. I know you have questions. You're one of these intellectual guys. You know what I mean? I met you at Princeton, so I know you were an intellectual guy. You went to what? What even do the Columbia Law? Ooh, hanging out all over the place. You know all these big time people. Go ahead. What's your questions? And I'll give you the answers if I can. So, go to friendship. Foe to friendship. Is this relating to your friend? No, 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 no. Uh, known for what you are, foe to friendship. Or I should say, uh, this the poem overall is dealing with uh, uh, the, the current thing. I, I, I think of myself as coming from the downtrodden. So those people who, 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 who keep on affecting the downtrodden, 
is what I'm talking about. So those, the, those masters of the universe, if you will, or those people that, uh, what do you call these people? You know, the, the, the people that, the, the, not the evil people in the world, but the people who take advantage. So, so the foe to friendship are those people that take advantage. It's not, it's not, no, it's not a personal thing to anybody. These are more mass kind of things. So foe to friendship. You know what it's like? When I travel, I travel a lot of places on the planet. And when I travel, a lot of times, you know, you, you come to the place and, and they'll say, oh, my friend, you know, then they wonder if you get some money from you. So you, 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 you know, so you immediately, oh, this is my friend, this is my friend. So when I say foe to friendship, it's really, that's what the, the conqueror, the conquerors, when the conquerors come, they, they say, oh, we want to be your friends. And so they're really foes to friendship or foe to the concept of friendship, I should say. Go ahead. Well, then let's back up. Mm -hmm. Let's call a challenge. And so is this, is that part of the title? A challenge? Uh, it's like a subtitle. So the a gracious statement, the gracious statement, then the, then the, then the, so the challenge, you're right. No, you're not right. Well, you are right. The challenge is this thing here. The challenge goes into your one, two, three, the third, uh, the third uh, paragraph when it says, the thief of day has this day uncursed you, foe to friendship. So the challenge is for you to accept that uncursing, for you not to be a friend, a friend to friendship, I should say. So a challenge is actually in that's what it means. There is one little mm, clip here in the first sentence. We're still in the, still in the first chapter, or the first stanza, um, and in uh, Eugene's uh, writers' club, they brought this point. So, well. You know, maybe you should you should change like uh, known for what you are, what you have always been, foe to friendship. Okay, which makes a lot of sense. And um, and they even suggested I put a punctuation there. But a lot of times when I write, I don't put punctuation. I, I will tell you why I don't do punctuation because it's like I hate to be like this, but I have to say it this way. Usually when I write, I do punctuation very rarely. But when I write poetry, especially, I think of it as back then, you know, when scripture first came about, when, you know, when, when you, the, the original text for like scripture, not Bible, but they took scripture put made a Bible, but they didn't have punctuation. This punctuation that you see in the Bible, whatever have you, is a later convention. So my thing is that if I write a poem, if I write words on page, you could put the punctuation if you want, but that's because that's your understanding of it. That's your interpretation of it. So in this, this is a sort of a trick because it really should read, Known for known for what you are, foe to friendship. Then it should be again. Then it should say, foe to friendship is what you have always been. So in a weird sort of sense, it's a hidden sort of hidden, you know, Anthony kind of thingy in there. But well, sometimes when you don't have the punctuation, people can read things differently, which yes. is okay. For That's what I want them to do. Yes. One look at their own meaning out of it. Also, I guess the griots back in Africa didn't have punctuation. In the sense of when they're talking, mm. right? uh, their pauses would be their punctuations. Exactly. I think also this comes from people don't understand. Like I mean, as you know, I, I fancy myself. Well, I'm a playwright, but you know, when plays were first uh, done, they were really extension of poems, if you will. And plays were not. You didn't go to see a play; you went to hear a play. So, um, so in, in a way, uh, poets, uh, you say griots, uh, if you want to do the African thing, poets, yeah, they say it their way, but if somebody else takes the same poem, it's like a song, you take the same poem, you're going to have a different whole different thing according to your experiences. Yes, you're correct with that. So I always like your play on words. So discarding of humanities of the too many guardians. So, well, let me just back up for a second. So this... Your friend maybe inspired this, and um, uh, Gracian was the name of your friend? My friend's name is Gracian. His whole name is Grace. His real name is Gracian Challenger, right? Okay, let me put it this way. Gracian's kind of strange. Gracian is a, is, a, is, a, is a, he's a genius, but people misunderstand him. He says stuff all the time. And all I did, he said, he when he says these profound things, I, I sort of, uh, I take him to heart, you know? So, when, so one of the things he said was uh, we were just talking, and he says, "You know what they are? You know, he gets he gets worked up sometimes. He says, you know what they are? They're 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 nothing but vessels for ghosts. Vessels for ghosts mean as human beings, these people are coming. They're vessels for ghosts. That's all he said. 
And it's not like, I, I, I guess he, we were talking, it was like a, in the mid morning or something like that. And it's a weirdly, like all day long, the whole night, that Vessels for Ghosts kept complaining on me, just complaining on me, kept complaining on me. And I think I went to, I went to bed and I went up, when I woke up in the next morning, I just said, I got to do something with this. It's not, I can't explain. You just played on me so much. And so this is, so it's not, all I'm saying, this is, this is. It inspired this, it, but it's not about him. You can say inspired it, but I don't know if inspired is the precise word. It's, you're right. No, I have to say he inspired it. But what it was, he made me, he made me between his statement and his, his statement was this. And be, it's like, a, um, okay, you, you know the movie uh, Blue Velvet? The, that guy, Eraserhead guy, the, you know, with, with, with Nick Cage, you know, whatever have you. People don't understand about that movie. The movie happens between the, the curtains. You know what I mean? It's like at some, some point in the movie after he gets out of jail and beats up somebody, some piece of a black guy to show that he's really macho, whatever have you. And it comes in, it's almost like this red curtains open up and then it closes. But between, the film happens between that thing, but there's really, it's just that film. Let me go another way. Intasaki Shange wrote a, 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 wrote a poem I saw it when it first came at the public theater. It was called uh, a photograph, a portrait of cruelty was the official name, but I think they changed it up for some reason, right? And what people, and I remember me and Mahmoud, Mahmoud was my director friend, we were, we were watching this, and, then, and somewhere in the very beginning, I got it right away, and Mahmoud kept looking at me saying, what's going on, what's going on? And then we had an intermission, he said, I don't want to see, I said, just hold on, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, because I got it right away. And so, basically, it was a photograph, click. So what happened between the clicks is what the play was. So what happens between, I guess, his statement, between him saying the statement and what the statement was, is what this poem is. I mean, maybe that's where I come in, you know? So he inspired it, yes. Yes, he inspired it. But I don't know, I think there's another word I want to use. I can't find it right now. So to you, vessels, I mean, going right to the end, which mm -hmm. vessels for ghosts, what does that mean to you? It's the 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 conquerors, if you will. I'm gonna say conquerors, the conquerors, or the um, what are they, or if, I think it's the word that they all the gods. Whoever's doing the bad thing, they are vessels for things that aren't real. We accept them as real. I and some people think ghosts are real. I'm not saying that ghosts are not real or whatever have you. But but but, but ghosts we generally um, look up as not evil things, but things that are not real, but we make them manifest our whatever desires. But they or take... fears. Of their, their, yes, fears. Thank you. Very good. Fears. So they're vessels for, for, for the fear. For, they're vessels for, to, to, to excite your fears. And, and you, but I'm, I'm saying to them, you all don't have to be that. You, you, you can be on this planet and not excite fears. You know, do good with your stuff, you know? So, so, so basically... Um, this thing, when it's one of the important things, and when I say the the of day, I usually, I, I purposely use the word, oh, you can't see it, but, oh, the, the camera can't see it. T-H-E-E, -E, the is a biblical, biblical kind of the. The the is almost like, and I didn't capitalize it. So so I don't want to say it's like God, but it's like almost a spiritual, you know what I mean? So the the or that spirit at that time that you know long is spiritual. The the of day, this day, or has has this, the day of day, has this day, in other words, the, the, your past actions, if you will, has to this day, this day right now, you, we, we've, we've uncursed you, if you accept, you know, this uncursing. Because again, everybody has free will. So what I'm trying to say is that the oligarchs, the conquerors, they no longer have to conquer it. They don't have to. They can become humane like everybody else. Or, or, or like the people they want to subject, because remember, then what they're trying to do is is subject uh, humanity to their warped, warped things. Hey, now, hey, Joe, what you doing? Thank you, the doggy. Hmm. Okay, so I see that the last two paragraphs are saying, if you want, you can be free of this, this, um, these ghosts. Um, the bad things in your life, the people who have held you down. Permission is yours. You can now cease voyaging, right? So you could have voyaging on that second line, but you gave it its own independent line. But permission is yours. You can now cease voyaging 
vessels for ghosts. So cease being um, being the vessels right. for what is negative in right. life. Right, but the, but but no, not I'm saying I'm not talking to the downtrodden. The downtrodden, the innocence and innocence. This is this is directed to the people who do the who. Who beat up on the downtrodden? Who prey on the downtrodden? Try P R E Y on the downtrodden. So that this these past these right. two things are directed to them. They're saying like, look, we, we, if you want to stop, you know, subjecting people to you know your your overthrowing and your your stripping of their minds, your your killing of their rainforest or their way of life, you can do it. You are now we now give you permission to do it. It's all in your you know. You don't have to be you know okay. activist thing anymore. Got it. See, I was focusing on the vessels, mm -hmm. but. It's really about the ghosts. The vessels, the vessels, no, the vessels are the are the agents that do these bad things. They are the vessels are doing ghostly things, fearful things, as you would say. They're doing ghostly things, and I'm just saying, you vessels, everybody's a vessel. Okay, you be you can be a vessel for good, bad, and different. Right? I'm just asking them. To, I'm just saying. Guess what, vessels? You no longer have to be. Um, fear, uh, fear mongers, fear agents, uh, ghosts. You can now join us in humanity. Right. That's the challenge. That's the da da. JB, you so smart. So anyway, thanks for helping me out with this. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Take care. That was JB. He's walking out the door right there. See him? That's him. He's gone. And that's been, this has been, you know, me, T from the past, is taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. As, um, oh, as the poet, Anthony. <laughs>